Hello, this is Rezorat from Radacat. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to add Spark lines in Power BI, what Spark lines is, how to add it, how to configure it in Power BI. Let's see how it works. What is Sparkline? Sparklines are a set of line charts that are added inside the spreadsheet. It can be Excel spreadsheet, it can be a table visual, matrix visual. They are as a field and a cell of a spreadsheet and showing a trend of a value over time, over a sequential uh, field. Uh, so basically they are line charts. The difference, however, is that they are tiny little line charts compared to adding the line chart in as its own visual in a report which would be much bigger it would have much more details in it you'll have x-axis in these information is minimal you don't see the x-axis um, because there are not much space to show it and uh, there are only few things that you can highlight in it like highest point lowest point they are used mainly to show uh, minimal information like the trend, how the trend is for different categories. These are especially used when you have so many categories that even uh, a normal line chart with a small multiple wouldn't work with that. For four or five, like what you see in this chart, perhaps I would use column uh, line chart with a small multiple that would be much better because I would have much bigger view of that. But if I have, let's say, 20, 30 or hundreds of categories and I'm going to show them in a uh, in a table visual or matrix visual then spark lines would work good now power bi team recently added the spark lines in power bi they are very easy to use first you need to have the latest version of power bi desktop of course then uh, this is how it's going to work you can uh, create a new table I'm going to add a table visual and this works for the table visual or matrix visual both are fine with this so I'm going to add a table visual with education of the customer and the sales amount of the fact table so it looks like this uh, nothing really uh, strange about it it's just a normal table visual then when I want to add a, a spark line to this I go to this drop down of a field that I want to add spark line on it and then I click on it and I say add a spark line Adding a spark line uh, is just as simple as that. When I click on it, it's like adding a new chart. You choose what is the value in the chart, which would be y-axis. Uh, what is the aggregation you want to apply on that value? Summarization, sum, average, minimum, whatever. And what is your, um, let's say, date field or time field or whatever that you use for the trend here, a sequential field. It, it can be like a date field. I'll choose order date from the default date table here. So this is the setting that I choose for my uh, spark line, x axis, y axis, and the summarization. And I, as soon as I click create, this creates a new field. But instead of showing the values in this field, like, like a normal field, this is a field with spark lines. You see, these are actually line charts showing the trend over time. It doesn't show the x axis x-axis is basically the order date uh, but because it's minimal space it doesn't show them over there so it is just that simple to create a spark line and here you can see that this looks like this icon looks like a spark line added to here you can go and edit it anytime you want uh, which will bring it to the same edit spark line configuration we've had before another thing is that uh, these aggregation that you choose when editing a spark line is only available when you choose a field here if you have a measure let's say i have sales which is a measure for itself and if i want to add a spark line for the sales because it's a measure summarization is disabled because inside the measure you already have some kind of aggregations and summarizations and then i can choose my date field and everything works works just fine so it, it works for the measures it works for the fields when when you choose a field you also choose a calculation for that field as well now another thing about spark lines is that um, if you have too many data points considering this is date and you have sales amount for every day sometimes multiple sales amount for every day then you'll see this little uh, 
message here showing that this spark line is showing a limited number of values it's reduced that to, to show that in in a chart because if you have too many data points it would be very uh, taking a lot of time to render it and it would we don't, wouldn't be much point to show it because uh, it's like a small space to show it anyway uh, one way to uh, to reduce that number yourself is of course using a, uh, a field that has fewer values like year or if you want to have combination of year quarter or combination of year month these can be done of course using a custom date field which you can create using dax or power query or any other methods i have links to um, to the date table calendar table that i normally use with the codes of that dax or power query whatever you might want to choose now uh, let's say you've created the uh, the spark line and of course you can have multiple spark line like i can add another spark line for the uh, let's say cost total product cost and i can add that spark line with let's say a totally different date field if i want to so it is definitely possible to have multiple spark line now uh, once you've added your spark line how you can format it configure it so everything in the formatting goes under the format setting and this is a new layout of the power bi desktop so when i go under format there's a section for spark lines this is where i do all the formattings for my spark lines first if you have multiple spark line fields you have to choose which spark line field you are going to apply these changes on for example i'll choose the spark line of sales amount by order date and i say well the chart type i want to change it that is one of the things you can do in in the spark line in power bi you can say i want the chart type to be for example column it's not that common to use column chart as a spark line but you can do that and and it looks like a column chart uh, normally it is easier when it is that minimal to see the changes on a line chart but some people prefer to see it in a column chart definitely you can do that you can change the color if you want to to whatever color you want uh, and uh, there is a very important settings for the spark line and that is marker marker is uh, some data points you highlight inside this chart and that is only possible in the line chart column chart doesn't give you the marker configuration as you see there is nothing down here but if I go to the other spark line, which is uh, a line spark line, in addition to settings such as thickness of the line and things like that, I can also choose a marker. Marker can be the data points that I want to highlight. For example, I can choose the type of marker to be like this. I want to show the highest point and you see the highest point in show there. I can change the color of that. So making it a bit more visible changing the size of it too so it's all up to you how you want to configure it of course hovering on that marker wouldn't show anything in particular hovering on the spark line cell itself will show you an information of what is the highest value what is the lowest value the range but it wouldn't show you that marker specifically this might be something that power bi team add later but for now it's like that and you can choose whatever marker you want to add here uh, one last thing about formatting is that you can uh, make this bigger this might look really small especially if you have too many items in your table visual one way to make it bigger is actually to change the cell size here um, there are many ways to do that one way is to go to format to grid options global font size if you increase that that would also increase the size of the spark line as you can see here uh, of course you need to make sure that you have enough space to show it so something like this would would work fine so changing the font size of the whole grid is under formatting grid options global font size available in both matrix and table visual so in summary spark lines are available in power bi they are easy to add and there are some configurations you can apply uh, always remember that they are not used to show detailed information because they are minimally showed 
they are good to understand the trend to see uh, like some of the data points but not the very detailed information if you have any questions about those feel free to reach out under the comments below and um, use the link below to the blog article to uh, learn more if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel we have weekly videos on power bi thank you